Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, your instructor. In this video, I'm going to teach you about continuous forms, otherwise known as list forms, where you can show a list of records at one time. And then I'm going to show you how to make a button so you can click on it and open up the specific record that you're looking for. Today's question comes from Wyatt, one of my gold members from Anchorage, Alaska. Wyatt asks, how can I display all of my products in a list so that I can scroll up and down through them? I'd also like to be able to click on one to open up that product's form. A total count of products and my total inventory value would also be nice to see too. Thanks. Well, Wyatt, we can do this using what's called a continuous form in Microsoft Access. That's where you can see a bunch of records on the screen at one time, as opposed to a single form where you only see one record at a time. I'm going to break your question up into two parts. In part one, I'm going to show you how to create that continuous form and how to click on one of them and click on a button to open up that product's form. Then in part two, which I'll do in the extended cut, I'll show you how to do the count of products and the total inventory value. But let's start with part one. Okay, here I have a blank access database. We're going to need a table to start with, so let's create a table. Create, table design, and let's make a product table. So real simple, product ID, an auto number, the product name, which will be a short text field. If you want a full description, a long text field, that's fine too. I'm not going to add one for this video, but you can add all kinds of fields, whatever you want. I'll put a quantity on hand. That'll be a number of type long integer. That's why I can keep track of how many I've got. Now you said inventory value in your question, so I'm not sure if you want your cost or what you're selling the products for. You can do both if you want to. I'll just pick one. I'll put the unit price in here, and that'll be a currency value, and that'll be what I'm selling it for. So what you'll have is you'll be calculating the total retail value of your entire inventory. If you want to do unit cost as well, you can add that too. So let's save this. This will be my product T, product table. Primary key, yes, to find that, please. That'll be the auto number. I've got whole videos on auto numbers and why you should use them. Let's close this down, open it back up again, put a few products in here. All right, let's put in my uh, Star Trek T-shirt. And I've got 20 of those on hand at $25 a piece. I've got the uh, Deep Space Nine mugs. I've got 15 of those on hand, and they're selling for $15. I've got the Chewbacca hoodie. And I've got five of those on hand, and they're 45 bucks because they're big and, you know, they're, they're wooly and fluffy and stuff. Okay, so I got my basic products in the database. Now, this is kind of what you want to see when you make your continuous form, but you don't want to work directly with your tables. It's always a bad idea, especially if you're going to have other people working with this database, too. You should try to keep all of your user interaction with forms. So let's close this. Save changes, yes. Let's create a basic product single form first. So create form design. I, I don't like using form where it, it slaps a form together for you. I don't like this. I, it just doesn't look nice. I don't like all the formatting. Now, I've got other uh, videos available to show you how to do basic single forms. I'll put some links down below in the description below the video. So if you're not sure about basic form design, watch those first, then come back to this one. So I'm going to move through this one kind of quickly. So create form design. All right, here's my basic form. First thing I do is I have to give it a little splash of color. I don't like to have those white backgrounds. All right, I like to set up the record source first. So go to all. Drop this down. Product T is the only thing in there. All right, this will be a single form. So one record at a time on the screen. Now, once I've set up that, shrink this up a little bit. We don't need to make that that big. That's about good right there. Okay, now I can go to design. I can add existing fields. Here's my fields. Click on the first one. Hold the shift key down. Click on the last one. Click and drag. Boom. And there we go. All right, there are my fields. You can change the labels if you want to. You can adjust these. Product name should probably be a little bigger. Okay. I like to gray out my ID fields. That way the user just doesn't, the user understands they can't edit that. Okay. Save this as my product F. Close it and now open it up. And there you go. It's a real simple product form. And you have to scroll through the records using the navigation buttons right here. Now, let's turn this into a continuous form. All right. If you already have a good form set up, 
All you have to do at this point is copy it and make a few modifications. All right, watch this. Copy, control C, paste, control V. I'm going to call this my product list F. All right, open it up in design view. Now we're going to open up the form properties again. Change this to continuous forms. All right, now we'll see multiple records on the same screen at the same time. Now, if I save this now and close it and reopen it, it looks like this. Okay, and you can scroll up and down through that. But that's not quite exactly what I want. I want it to look more like a spreadsheet. All right, so we have to just do a little bit of layout changing in here. So design view. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on the form header and footer. That way I can have a header across the top and a footer at the bottom. So right click anywhere here in the details section and go to form header footer, not page header footer. All right, that's for printing stuff out. And we don't print out forms. We print out reports. So I never use that. Go to form header and footer. That puts on these things. See, you have a section here and a section down there. Now, the form header appears once at the top of the form. So I'm going to take these labels, select all the labels, cut them out, control X, cut, and paste them up here in the form header. All right, now I'm going to re just rearrange these a little bit. So they look like the way I want them to look, like that. All right, maybe select all of them, get them right on the grid like they should be. You could change the color if you want, make them black so they're easier to see. Okay. Bring this up like that, because that section doesn't have to be that big. You could change this background color separately if you want to. Like you can go, you know, with a, a dark background color like that, and then select all of those labels and give them like a white foreground color if you want to. All right, whatever you want. It's your database. That's why you're learning access. Do whatever you want, right? Now slide these fields up underneath the ones above, right? Slide them right up underneath their labels. So get that right there, get you right there. All right, resize you a little bit, put the quantity on hand there, and the unit price right there. All right, line them up, make them look nice. Now I like to have everything left aligned. So I'm going to select all of these fields and hit the left align button. I don't like labels on the left and then the numbers on the right, and it just looks messy. Okay. Now, grab this bar right here and slide it up to get rid of all that empty space. We're going to save it, control S, close it, and then reopen it again. And look at that. There's your continuous form now. One other little thing I like to make the change is right here. I don't like that alternating background color back in design view. I hate that. And in my template, my basic template, I turn that off. All right, so open up the properties for the detail section. Double click right there. See there, there's back color and alternate back color. Now, I don't like using theme colors, accent five, letter 60. You're supposed to be able to change your theme and all your colors change. I don't like that. So I'm going to go, first, let's start with the back color. Come in here, dot, dot, dot. Pick a standard color that I like, like maybe that guy. And then I'm going to copy and paste this over the alternate back color as well. So I got the same color. And if you want to change the form footer, and put the same color there, you can do that too. We'll leave the form header dark like that. It looks nice. Save it, close it, reopen it. There we go. Looks good. There's a little bit of space here for a scroll bar, because if this is smaller, or if you have more records, see that scroll bar appears. And you can scroll up and down. But if you don't need it, it doesn't show up. Now, next, I promised I would show you how to click on one of these guys and then open up this one. All right, this pro full product form, because usually you'll have a lot more fields on here. Okay, you'll, you might have your unit cost, your full description, maybe a picture, all kinds of stuff, manufacturer, wh where you get it from. But you don't want all that stuff showing up on this simple list form. This is to find something quickly. Okay. So what you might want to do is pick one of these, and then we're going to make a button right here that will open up that product form. Okay, so design view. Fortunately, there is a button in the command button set that does this for us automatically. So go up to design, find your command buttons right there, drop it on the form footer, go to form operations, open a form, next, what am I opening? The product list form, next. Now, do I want to show all the records or find specific data to display? Click on that one. Next, link the two fields that are the same in both forms. Product ID, product ID, click that button to link them, next. What do you want the button to say? I'll put in here, open product. You can put a picture if you want, but I like text. Next, give the button a meaningful name, open product form, no spaces preferably, and then finish. And there's my button right down there. I do have another video that covers that 
button in a lot more detail. Okay, so I'll put a link down below if you want to watch that too. And as a side note, there is no command button option to do the same thing with reports. If you want to print out a product or you want to print out a single invoice, for example, or a single customer record, there's no button up here to do it. I've got a separate video on that as well. Lots of people like that one, so I'll put a link to that too. Okay, so let's close this down, open it back up, open the product list. Now it's a two-step process. Click on Chewbacca hoodie and then open product. It'll open this, the currently selected product. There it is. I'm going to slide this over here and hit Control S to save its position. All right, close that. Click on Deep Space Nine mugs, open product. See that? Opens right to it. Pick the product, open product. Yes, in my more advanced classes, you can make it so you can double click on one of these up, up here and it just opens this form. That, that requires some programming. It's not quite as easy. And I do have classes to cover that. So Wyatt, there you go. That shows you how to create a continuous form to show all of your products. Click on a specific product and then hit the open product button to open up that product's single form. Now in part two, in the extended cut, I will show you how to calculate a total count of products and your total inventory value. If you want to learn more about continuous forms in the extended cut, I show you how to calculate a line total, which is right over here, right? That's quantity on hand times unit price to get a total for each product. Then the inventory count is right down here. That's a count of all of these guys. All right, the count up 20, 15, 50, and so on to sum those together. Then over here, the total inventory value, sum up these guys. All right, and these are what are called form footer totals. And that's all covered in the extended cut for members, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos.